and as director of this department, I expressly forbid you to pursue this matter any further, either verbally or in the medical record. Now get Parmel down here right away. Capiche? I want the number of Children's Protective Services. Dr. Butcheri, he told you to drop it. Yeah, well, see, I have this problem. Sometimes I don't hear so good. And you know, I like that painting. Did you do it? Yeah. The last of the great Sunday painters. <clears throat> Do you like one of these? I'm trying to quit smoking, huh? Sounds like you've been there. Okay, doctor. I'll conduct the investigation you request tomorrow. But there is one thing I'm curious about. Yeah, what's that? How come you came down here in person? Why didn't you just uh, phone the report in? Because this report is unauthorized. Because the director of pediatrics has known the mother since she was child. He thinks I'm crazy and that I should drop it. Dr. Bucheri, how many female residents are there at your hospital? Two. You aim to make it one? Look, Mr. Williams, I'm a street kid. I can smell when things are not right. And between that mother and that child, things are not right. I can't just drop it. Okay. I hear you, doctor. My first name is Dave. Angie. Hey, you're tall. services. I wonder if I may talk to you. Sure, come on in. Thank you. Children's Protective Services. Well, it's a catch-all title for county service. We do a routine follow-up on kids who have accidents. What kind of follow-up? We have a variety of free services that your taxes pay for. So, we'd like to let you know what's available. Do I smell chocolate chip cookies? Yeah, just put them in the oven. I'm trying to quit smoking, and it is killing me. I can't stop eating. This is really a very nice place you have here. Could I see Mary Jane's room, please? She's sleeping. I'll just take a quick look. You know, you'd be surprised at the accidents that happened because of cleaning stuff left around, or even dangerous toys. I'm very careful about that. Pretty room. My wife would flip over that yellow carpet. We've got three kids, all boys. Our place looks like a downtown gym. It must be much easier having just one. Not necessarily. I mean, some kids cry so much. Might as well be three. Mary Jane cries a lot, does she? Mm -hmm. All the time. Well, especially in the last six months since her daddy left us. Oh, I didn't realize you were all alone. Well, we are. And Mary Jane seems to miss him a lot. I mean, he never lifted a finger to do anything for her when he was here. But once he was gone, you'd think the world ended or something. May I call you Rowena? Sure. Okay. Look, the reason I came here to talk to you was to let you know that there are places you can go to get help when you feel the pressure building. 
Really? You bet. Hey, it's not easy raising a child with two parents. But when you're alone, especially when you're young, it can be very difficult. And sometimes just talking it out with people like yourself, well, it helps a lot. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. The cookies should be ready for the frozen kind, but they're good. It's no trouble. Next time. getting me in trouble. has no previous record of any abuse, nor does the county. The baby was sleeping like an angel in a spotless nursery. And young Mrs. Harper was open, friendly, and baking chocolate chip cookies. You tell me she was wearing a ruffled apron and I will throw up. She was. Don't. Okay, so, um, Helgerson was right and I'm crazy. Well, I would say so except for one thing. Yeah, what's that? The crib the baby allegedly fell from to get a broken arm, was resting on a carpet about two inches thick. Mr. Harper! Bill! Yeah. All right. Dave Williams, Children's Protective Services. I'd like to talk to you for a few minutes, if we could. What about? Mary Jane, I assume you know she had an accident. She broke her arm. Yeah. Well, were you at the house that day? Is the police? No. County. I'll have to talk to you. No, sir, you don't. But hey, I'm not a guy who gets people into trouble. I'm just a guy who tries to find answers, okay? Answers to what? The questions like um, how the accident happened. Ask Rowena. It happened after I left. Okay. Some kids are accident prone, you know? They're always bumping into things, tripping, falling. Would you say that to Mary Jane? I don't know. I don't see her that often. Now, Mr. Harper, you may not live at the house, but you do see the child. Now, whatever problems we may have here do not belong exclusively to Rowena. Together or apart, you are Mary Jane's father. Maybe. Hey, I'll catch you later, Capone. Dave! Hi, I'm sorry I'm late. Ah, it's okay. How's it going? Well, I think I'd better close up shop on the Harper matter. Why? There's nothing to go on. Are you kidding me? You and I both know Rowena Harper got so mad at a three-year-old kid that she twisted her arm until she broke it. Now, if she's done it once, she's going to do it again. You and I have to stop her before she gets to that point. There should be a hearing on this matter. 
On what evidence? She cops to nothing. My husband cops to nothing. Her attitude towards me is open, cooperative. The home is spotless. The baby is spotless. There's no record of any previous problem. Now, on what evidence? I don't know. Find it. Talk to friends. Talk to neighbors. Somebody must have heard that kid screaming. There's another hospital in the city. Check the medical records there. Hey, take it easy. Records are confidential. Ours, hers, everyone's. I cannot run around asking a lot of questions on the basis of pure suspicion. Look, you know. You know that baby did not break her arm from a fall out of a crib. Yes, I know that. But I don't know how she did break it. And I don't know who else might have been involved. Now, I cannot run from door to door, putting someone under a cloud of doubt because of a hunch. It's not only unprofessional, it's against our Constitution. Up the Constitution, Williams! What about Mary Jane Harper? Who was looking out for her constitutional rights? Well, I am for one, Bucheri. At least I'm trying. Wow, lady. You sure are angry. Yeah. I'm angry. When I was a kid in school, and I would miss a question, the nuns used to smack me across the knuckles with the sharp edge of the ruler. When I would eat too much at home, my father used to knock me across the room. I grew up in halls that stank like garbage, with rats and cockroaches for pets, and rape around every corner, and the fear of punishment for breakfast every day. And you know something? Your clean houses may be filled with plastic flowers, and your streets may be lined with palm trees, but it's not so different here. The anger and the fear and the frustration are here, and the kids are the victims, just like always. I want to stay angry, so that as long as I'm alive, no kid I meet will ever have to think that maybe dying is nicer than living, the way I did. Okay. I'll do the follow-up. Okay? Okay. Hey, how do you keep so calm all the time? I never had much to be mad at in my life. I was one of the lucky ones. My parents liked me. Thank you. 
Mum, honey, not mine. 